first balloon mission using a 2650 battery. Wish me luck. Hey everybody, welcome to Donnie's first quadcopter balloon adventure. I had been out uh, looking at the beautiful morning when I noticed there were some balloons out, which is something I've always wanted to uh, record with my quadcopter. So of course, first thing I get up and I throw my 3000 milliamp hour battery into my quadcopter, take off, and get about uh, 30 seconds into the mission when I realized that uh, I forgot to hit the record button on my uh, Hero 3. Damn it. So I flew back and I threw in my 2650 battery, which really kind of sucks because I think I could have gotten a lot farther with my 3000 milliamp hour battery. But anyways, as you can see, the balloons are in the background. I just passed over Montgomery Boulevard and I got a park there on my right. It's a dog park. If you look down in the lower right hand corner. And if you look at traffic, I am keeping up with traffic. So I assume traffic's doing about 40 or 45. So I assume my airspeed at this point is about 40 or 45 miles per hour. So uh, in my mind, I'm thinking I've got a tailwind. So that's pushing the balloons away from me. A and B, that means my return trip is going to be a little slower. I haven't fully tested the 2650 battery that's in there, so I'm not quite sure how much life I can get. Um, so I decided I would turn around at about two minutes. And so yeah, at about two, two and a half minutes, I, I decide to turn around. You also notice that I am gaining an altitude as I'm moving forward. This is a mistake because now the balloons are against uh, a very complex background. Had I stayed lower, the uh, sky, the nice blue sky would have been the background. So lesson learned, next balloon mission, I'm going to uh, fly a little lower. I like to fly high because uh, it, my FPV naturally works better at higher altitudes, but I'm sure I could have flew 50 feet lower and I would have been just fine. Okay, so at this point you can see I'm turning around, heading home. My girlfriend's house is a uh, little teeny dot there in the background. <laughs> About the furthest, uh, the development there on the left in the back. And there's the uh, park there on the left. And that's Unser Boulevard underneath us. Now if you look, the cars seem to be going a lot faster than I am. So either I'm uh, facing a headwind or the cars going uh, north travel a lot faster than the cars going south. And that's Montgomery or Montano Boulevard we're coming up on there, the large boulevard at the bottom of the screen. Um, I did a search on Google Maps and uh, I found this, uh, this app that does as the crow flies and this was about seven tenths of a mile. Like 0 0.0716 or something like that, but that's a guesstimate. Next time what I'll do is I'll face the camera straight down so I know exactly where I am so I can do a more accurate assessment of my distance. And also I've got an on-screen display system sitting on my bench at home. I, maybe I'll install that so I can know how far I'm flying. But here we are coming into the runway. You see a little jitter there on the uh, on the gimbal. I actually replaced the gimbal uh, after this video. The video, the pre this gimbal had some issues. After months and months of practicing and flying, as you can imagine, I crashed a couple times. So the gimbal was was pretty beaten up. It's a Terret uh, two-axis gimbal, pretty robust. So I replaced the gimbal, not the controller, but just the uh, physical gimbal, and, and that seems to be doing a lot better than this gimbal. Alright, so I've been trying to practice my FPV landings. Usually at this time I take the goggles off and I land uh, by watching the quadcopter, but I realize that sometimes I may not be able to keep an eye on the quadcopter. I may be forced to land at some point in my life uh, away from my vision. So I've been trying to land using FPV, which is not really easy with a quadcopter. Um, the shadow really provides a lot of perspective 
and I just now kind of realized that, so next time I land away, I'll try to have the sun to my back. Easy, easy. I like soft landings. I don't like hard landing. Oh yeah, that was a good one. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little video. You guys have a good one. Bye.